All right. My name is Maitri Varusavitana, and I'm a scientist working at the Magnet Lab. And I brought a little thing here for show and tell. It's basically a copper tube and a magnet. And I'm going to show you something very interesting with this. If you drop this through this copper tube, it should go, it should fall right through, right? Let's try it. So now, if you look, where is the, the object? Is it coming from the other side? It's, no, it's stuck. All right, let's watch for a little while. There you go. The object actually did come from the other side. So it wasn't really stuck. So what's going on? Is this magic? So this is why science is so cool. You can explain things that are very fascinating. In this particular case, you actually see the effect of a contactless force. There's no contact. The object, when it falls through the tube, actually does not even touch the side walls of the tube. It's just floating inside the tube. It's actually two fields acting on the same object at the same time. There's a gravitational field acting on it, pulling it down. And then there's another field, an electromagnetic field, that is opposing its motion. So when the magnet falls through the tube, it's taking with it a magnetic field. The moment the conductor sees a changing magnetic field, it tries to oppose this changing magnetic field and tries to stop this magnet from moving forming what we call an eddy current. Now we've discovered a very interesting phenomenon that is not only fun to learn about, but it has a lot of applications. So uh, when you're in school, sometimes you think that science is so hard, it's so boring. But actually, uh, this type of demonstration shows how fun and interesting science can be. Science is really like magic. It's actually not just magic, it's magic that you can explain is what's really cool about science. There's lots of things that are in our lives that go on around us that if you stop and think about it, you don't really know why it's happening the way it does happen. So there's a lot of magic and you've got to learn science to understand how the magic happens.